Hello everyone, it's Marilyn here. I have a new video tutorial for Fortnite and Market of this vintage layout that I create with a beautiful, bold and beautiful uh, collection. You can see here, it is so pretty and I'm select this paper, the letter garden, uh, that is more vintage. Look the back side, it's beautiful too, but I'm going to work and make a design with the same paper. This is the pretty photo that I'm going to use. I already made pencil marks in the area that the photo will be. In that way, it's easy for me to see how I'm going to work with all these lines and postcard but first let me prepare the paper and i'm going to apply a thin coat of clear gesso over all the paper once i apply the gesso i'm going to use my heat tool to dry okay it's ready the photo is here look this beautiful uh stamp by gabriel polaco it is gorgeous i just love this net here it has a beautiful desi uh, design, but first let me show you, I'm going to use Versamark and Embossing Powder to use the stand. First, I am using the anti-static powder to uh, prepare the area that I'm going to emboss. Now I use uh, acrylic uh, mat and now uh, I apply the Versamark to the stamp. And I'm playing with the stand because I want to uh, the design around the area that the photo will be. Um, I make a little pressure, sorry for my shoulder. <laughs> and now I apply, uh, I put the embossing powder. It is white and you can see here the design of the stamp. It is beautiful. Now I will add a uh, continue adding this uh, the stamping uh, because I already have in my, um, my mind the design that I want to create is easy for me to stamp in some area that I know uh, I, I will uh, add the flowers and everything later here you can see how gorgeous is this stamp it's like a net with flowers oh it's so pretty and now I will add more of this design in the area uh, in the top area where the photo will be and a little of the, you will see that I only uh, add a little of the Versa mark in, in, the, in the left side here. And now I'm going to add uh, the embossing powder. And to make this fast, I'm not going to show you how I melt this part here, but I want to show you that when you have a lot of dust here, the embossing powder, you can remove them with a paintbrush. Okay is already melted and now I'm going to start to play with the paper to create the design. I The paper I already cut, I'm going to work the right side here of the paper. I already cut the first pop star, pop scarf and the second one. And now in the bottom part, I follow the lines that the same paper has, the design, and I cut through the line. In that way, I have three, uh, Three, like three postcards in the right side of my page and because it is like a puzzle you will see that I will have everything in, in here and I will start uh, distressing it distressing with my scissor each of the pieces and I'm going to adhere now uh, okay uh, let me explain that I am using a brown cardstock as my base and I'm going to adhere all the pieces to the uh, brown cardstock. And I continue distressing with my scissor and adhering the pieces to the base paper. Okay, now I have the right side. Now I'm going to decide what part of the paper I'm going to cut. And I decided that I'm not going to cut all in, in different pieces. I'm going to make two cuts on the bottom part of, the, of this area, two cuts, one in this side and one on this other in the left side to give the illusion that I, I is all in pieces, but is not. And this one, yes, I, I want to cut this postcard and remove it from the paper, I will cut it. Okay, that's it. And 
that is uh, wh what it will be. Two cuts here and one piece here. Now it's time to distress all the borders of all the pieces. And I'm going to do the same technique with my scissor and distress very well all the edges. Okay, I was thinking to let all the borders white only with the scissor dis distress with the scissor, but I changed my mind and I am applying now distress vintage photo distress ink to all the borders. I want to give this vintage uh, aging look to the page and with the texture that the scissor uh, made on in all the borders. Uh, I just uh, distress all. <laughs> All the sides. If you want to do this, it, I think it's better to uh, apply the distress ink before you adhere all the pieces. Now I'm going to uh, complete my puzzle and I have adhered the big piece to the base paper. And you can see here how it looks so far. And I apply a little of pressure the, to adhere all the pieces. Now I want to add more textures and look this beautiful uh, lace by 49 Market. And I want to put two pieces here. And I'm going to adhere both of them with the tacky glue to this side of the paper. Okay, let me show you what I did look, how pretty it looks now. I just used my sewing machine and I sew around all the edges. And let me show you on the back. You can see here all the stitches and it gives a nice touch to the page. Now I'm adding the shipboard by Dustic Attic, but first I want to add color and to enhance all the background and I'm using the Distress Ink in it is the Victoria Velvet color and I'm using this brush to apply the ink on the back. You will see and you will see through all the process that I apply uh, many times, a few times, Distress Ink. I, I go and give uh, I like, think like four or five layers of color until I get the tone that I want. And once I apply the, the Victoria Velvet Distress Ink, I'm going to add a piece of cheesecloth. I'm going to adhere here. Now it's time to adhere the photo and to start to make my composition. I add also the shoeboard on the left side of the photo and look how gorgeous are these flowers love it and this is part of the flowers that I'm going to use and I'm going to use the layered embellishment set by Serendipitous I'm going to use the gears and the brown bubbles so nice now it's time to start to make my composition to have fun here so I'm going to let you with museum during this process come back soon <laughs>
my camera turned off, but I'm going to show you what I did. I used 3D gloss gel, I used art stones and some pearls, and I took my paintbrush with gel and applied some of this this art stone in some of the area near to the flowers, um, between uh, here the uh, the cheesecloth, and in layers to create dimensions and depth. And I also add some of these pearls in some of the areas here and there. Okay, now I'm going to cover the photo and I'm going to add white paint splatters over all this uh, area here to add these lovely textures. And I'm going to show you now, I just love how it turns out. Look how everything looks very close. The stitches, the distress, the beautiful stamp and all the embellishment and layers. Look how it looks, the lace. Hmm. So pretty. And it looks very light now because I am using, I am showing you this with all the lights uh, to film the video, but I will show you soon the photos outside. Here is, look how lovely are the colors with the photos uh, that I take, uh, took outside. Well, my friends, I hope that you enjoy this video tutorial, that you the, it inspired you to give a try and to create something uh, similar. Uh, if you like this video, let me know with a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I see you soon with other video tutorial. Nos vemos, bye bye.